Okay, so we're going to go through a few more examples. This is not a regular polygon, it's just a polygon. So there's no evidence that there's all sides are equal, and definitely the angles are not equal. So we're going to have a look at how many sides it's got. There are seven sides. That means there's going to be seven angles as well. So when we do our angle sum, we can use this formula from last lesson to work this out. So you're just putting in the number of sides in for n and work that out on your calculator and you get 900 degrees. After that, we're going to get our angle sum of 900 for this shape and take off the angles that we already have up here and that will leave us with our missing angle. A will be 95 degrees. In this next shape, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to use this angle sum formula with our five sides, put the n equals five in, work it out on your calculator and you get 540 degrees, which is to be shared by all these angles. So if we make a little statement here, we can say that all of these angles are going to add up to that angle sum of 540. So we're going to write B plus B plus 100 plus 90 plus 130 and they've all got to equal 540. So we can treat this like an equation, collect your like terms, collect your numbers and keep going through solving your equation till you get your answer. B equals 110 degrees. Over here on this one, this shape is a regular shape because all the sides have been marked as equal. It's got six sides. So it's a regular hexagon. To find the interior angle, we're going to go straight to this formula. We've got six sides on the hexagon, so we're putting a six in for n. And when you work it out on your calculator, you get 120 degrees. So that means that the size of the angle inside the hexagon is 120 degrees. So m will equal 120 degrees. To find n out here, it's just angle sum on a straight line. So we're just getting n by doing 180 minus the 120 that we just found for m and you get your 60 degrees. I'll come back with the next video.